Hey Potterheads, and welcome to another Pottercast. This is episode two. <coughs> and now we're going to do some exploring the story. So let's just have a look at a few of the creatures first. Thunderbirds. <coughs> Flying beast that can sense danger and create storms as it flies. Its tail feathers were used by Shakoba Wolf to create powerful wands, particularly good for transfiguration. The Thunderbird, the Thunderbird fact profile. Uh, obviously, it's a bird. It's going to have a bird-like appearance, obviously. Um, <coughs> its magical abilities senses danger and creates storms as it flies, closely related to the phoenix. Typical habits and uh, habitats, North America. Allegiance, one of Ilva Morney School of Witchcraft and Wizardry's House Beasts. Okay, uh, bow truckles, a small twig-like creature that guards one wood trees. Uh, the fact file, its appearance, maximum of eight inches in height, made of bark and twigs. With two small brown eyes, magical abilities, natural cam natural camouflage, dangers, peaceful and shy, useless uh, unless it unless this tree habitat is threatened, has long sharp fingers. Typical habitats: west of England, southern Germany, and certain Scandinavian forests. Uh, one we all know, too familiar, house elves. Loyal magical creatures bound to their owners as servants for life. Uh, the fact profile. Appearance, large heads, long noses and fingers, very short, with bulging tennis ball eyes and bat-like ears. Magic abilities, their own type of magic performed without a wand, which includes the ability to apparate, disarm and make objects levitate. Allegiance, bound to serve one owner unless freed by being given clothes by that owner. Okay, we're not gonna go through every single creature. Now let's go through some of the characters. Let's have a look at some from each house. So first of all, Ravenclaws. Famous Ravenclaws, past and present. We have Luna. Uh, we have Cho Chang. Ravenclaw seeker, member of Dumbledore's army, Harry's first crush. Okay, full name Cho Chang, House Ravenclaw, Patronus, Swan, and she supports the Tuts Hill Tornadoes.
Luna Lovegood. Unique Ravenclaw, true friend and artist. Seven reasons to love Luna Lovegood. Right. I, speak, I, I feel like I should actually have told you that. Okay, so. Her birthday is the 13th of February. Obviously, she was born in 1981. Um. Her house is Ravenclaw, obviously. Her Patronus is a hare. And her her parents are Xenophilius and Pandora Lovegood. And the skills are spotting nargles. Her hobbies. Defending her father's publication, The Quibbler. Looking for her shoes. Painting. Okay, that's all you need to know about Luna Lovegood. Gilderoy Lockhart. Okay, uh... Right, well, have a look at some Gryffindors now. Discover famous Gryffindors past and present. We'll start with Minerva McGonagall. The strict but fair head of Gryffindor House and Transfiguration Teacher. Okay, so full name Minerva McGonagall, birthday 4th of October, 1, fur and dragon half string, 9.5 inches stiff, oh, obviously she's a Gryffindor, her parents are a muggle father and a witch mother, unnamed, her animagus, distinctively marked silver tabby cat, hobbies, Needlework, correcting articles in Transfiguration today, watching Quidditch, supporting the Montrose Magpies. Neville Longbottom. A clumsy but keen herbology student and shy Gryffindor with great inner strength. Okay. So aside from the fact he's a Gryffindor, we know he was born on the 30th of July 1980. His wand is... First wand was inherited from his father. Second wand was 13 inches cherry unicorn hair. His parents are Frank and Alice Longbottom, but raised by grandmother Augusta. He has skills in herbology, and his hobbies are breeding Mimbulus Mimbletonia. And if you want to know what that is, that's the plant he has in the fifth book. Albus Dumbledore. Oh, here we go. Obviously, uh, a fun fact about him here, Hogwarts Headmaster, founder of the Order of the Phoenix, with a fondness for sherbet lemon and knitting patterns. His full name, Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. 
year of birth, 1881, not, no, no full date known. He, um, elder one, um, elder ancestral tail hair, 15 inches. His Patronus is a phoenix. His parents were Percival and Kendra Dumbledore. Skills, considered by many to be one of the most powerful wizards of his time. Hobbies, 10 pin bowling and chamber music. Death, 30th of June 1997. Okay. Now let's have a look at some Hufflepuffs. Newt Scamander. Magic zoologist and writer of the textbook Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Newton Artemis Fido Scamander, born 1887. Skills Magic Zoology, Order of Merlin, Second Class. Okay, uh, Pomona Sprout. Herbology pro professor, an expert in dangerous plants, head of Hufflepuff House. And that's all we know about her from her facts. Well, I know which one you want, you see. This one right here, Cedric Diggory. Popular Hufflepuff seeker and competitor in the Triwizard Tournament. So, okay, full name Cedric Diggory, obviously. Birthday, 1977. Wand. Twelve and a quarter inches, ash unicorn hair. Parents, Amos Diggory. Father. He was a skilled seeker, and his death, 24th of June, 1995. And finally, where the houses are concerned, that is, Slytherins. Okay, here we go. Draco Malfoy. A pure blood wizard, proud of Slytherin, pr proud Slytherin, Harry Potter's arch rival at Hogwarts. Birthday, 5th of June, 1981. Hawthorne and unicorn hair, 10 inches precisely. Parents, Lucius and Narcissa Malfoy. Right. I'll tell you what, guys. We'll call it here for this episode. 
and we'll continue with a part two of this topic. Where the next thing we'll look at will be the professors. So until then, mischief managed.